I welcome you for all of I welcome you all for this Eucharist and pray for your intentions during this during this Eucharist. We also remember Evaristo Andrades who is with the Lord. We thank the Lord for his life and pray for his family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we are gathered here this morning, this evening, to thank the Lord for all that he does during the week and to looking forward to have a blessed week ahead. For the times we fail to respond to God's love, for the times we are more blind in our own ways, let us ask pardon and mercy from the Lord. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Almighty of living God, increase our faith, hope and charity and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, 
sing aloud with gladness for Jacob and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise and say, O Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth. Among them, the blind and the lame, the pregnant woman and she who is in labor, together a great company, they shall return here. With weeping they shall come, and with pleas for mercy, I will lead them back. I will make them walk by brooks of water in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, What great deeds the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Kindly repeat. What, what great, great deeds the Lord, the Lord worked, worked for us, us indeed we were, we were glad. glad. When the Lord brought back the exiles of Zion, we thought we were dreaming. Then was our mouth filled with the laughter on our tongues, song of joy. Our response, what, what great, great deeds the, the Lord worked for us, us. indeed we were, we were glad. Then the nations themselves said, what great deeds the Lord worked for them. What great deeds the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Our response, what, what great, great deeds the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. glad. Bring back our exiles, O Lord, as streams in the south. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Our response, what great deeds the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. They go out, they go out full of tears, bearing seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back with a song, bearing their sheaves. Our response, what, what great, great deeds the Lord, Lord worked work for us. us. Indeed, we, we were glad. glad. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. For every high priest chosen from among men is appointed to act on behalf of men in relation to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He can deal gently with the ignorant and wavered since he himself is beset with weakness. Because of this, he is bound to offer sacrifice for his own sins, just as he does for those of the people. And no one takes this honor for himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. So also, Christ did not exalt himself to be made a high priest, but was appointed by him who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. He says also in another place, you are a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly stand. Savior Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Lord be with you. And with your a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, as Jesus was leaving Jericho and his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and, call, and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus and said to him, And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. Rabbi, let me recover my sight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think this parable is not for us because it's for blind people, for those who have recovered their sight or those who want to recover their sight. I don't think this is for us. What do you say? Is this parable for us? Is this passage for us? Patimias asked the Lord, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. My dear friends, I take help of this, this epic Mahabharata. In this Mahabharata, there is this king, Dhritarashtra, who was born blind. Dhritarashtra was born blind. He was the second son and therefore he was not a legal heir. He did not. But because Pandu, the first son, died early, Dhritarashtra is ascended to the throne. And therefore, after Dhritarashtra, he thinks that his son, Duryodhan, should get the legal right. And this is what happens to Dhritarashtra. He is blind for his son. Not only is he born blind, but he thinks that his son should have power. His son should be the king. And for that reason, he is ready to go to any extent and therefore the legal right or the legal heir to the throne, the Pandu's son, he tries to somehow in a way plot against them, even try to kill him. This is his mistake. Born blind but more than that blind for the love of his son. Coming to his wife, his wife Gandhari. She had normal sight, 
but when she married dhritarashtra this dhritarashtra she blindfolded herself a normal person born with normal sight just for the love of this man she blinded herself blindfolded herself does not think of right or wrong whatever my husband does i will do no conscience conscience is kept aside i will be righteous person i will do what my husband will do again another kind of blindness dhritarashtra san duryodhan blind for power at any cost he wants power and therefore he plans in such a way that this pandu's son will be killed in fire blind for power and for that extent is ready to go and do anything kill his cousins kill his brothers kill the right to uh, right to throne the heir to throne even even kind of uh, malign the dignity of draupadi he wants to rob her of her dignity so he goes to any extent because he is blind to power then duryodhan has this friend karna karna is the strongest person in all the sides pandavas or kauravas karna is the best is the best warrior better than arjun what is his fault i will side duryodhan because he is my friend my liability my commitment my honesty my faithfulness is to my friend right and wrong put in the garbage i will do what my friend does i will side him at any cost these are the kind of blind folds that are happening in society this is a these are normal human natures who do you think you are where do you say your blindness lies is it loyalty to power loyalty to friends loyalty to relationship or loyalty to truth recently chief justice of india unfolded unflurred what was blind statue of justice do you mean to say that so far justice was blind what is the meaning of this action will justice be delivered in present time is justice blind or is justice impartial in our present times there are various types of blindness occurring and we pretend and we choose to either blindfold ourselves in whatever way maybe commitment to relationship maybe commitment to friendship maybe commitment to power maybe blindfold ourselves with various addictions one of the blind blindfold blindness i see in the present generation is it's so sad even a 2 year old now is having specs do you think it is right and we think it is normal is normal for a 2 year old to have a specs 5 year old 10 year old is normal to have specs these are the areas where we have chosen to blindfold ourselves and we think it is normal my dear friends coming to the gospel itself it is bartimeus who takes initiative it is bartimeus who comes to the lord and he says and then the lord asks what do you want lord restore my sight lord restore my sight my dear friends we may think that we are we have normal sights but there are many many areas where we could have actually blindfolded ourselves we could have actually blind or folded ourselves as you go to sleep tonight ask the lord to give you the courage to open our sights in many many and various ways we must have blindfolded ourselves whatever reasons one of the areas i see is yesterday one of my friend said that while i crossing the road i was about to come down below the truck it sent she was down my spine what if 
what if and i also care for each one of you what if something happens and we have turned a blind eye towards small issues there are many other issues in our families in our societies we blindfold ourselves today we ask the lord lord give me the grace give me the courage to receive sight give me the courage to receive my sight kindly stand we profess our faith we'll take page number 5 in this book joyful celebration together we say i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man he was crucified and upon his pilot he suffered a death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen let us surrender our petitions to god who always works great deeds for us and fills us with gladness for our response lord hear our prayer kindly repeat lord hear our prayer that our holy father bishops priests and religious may reflect our compassionate lord healing the sick and comforting the troubled we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer like bartimius may we present our needs to the lord trusting in his mercy and assistance we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer may the state authorities implement policies that genuinely support those in need especially the visually impaired unemployed and financially burdened we pray to the lord god hear our prayer for the synod in rome may discussions foster communion participation and mission within the church reflecting the vision of jesus our high priest we pray to the lord god hear our prayer we pray for all who are affected by cyclone dana may they receive the necessary assistance and support in this time of need we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray for our community and personal needs we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer gracious lord we thank you for our presence for your presence in our lives especially for the gift of sight i am happy that all of us have beautiful sight we thank the lord for that and healing you offer increase our faith and our spiritual sight that we may see our path clearly we ask this through christ our lord amen
today, my dear friends, that a sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His church. Let us pray. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings to we make to Your Majesty, that whatever is done by us in Your service may be directed above all to Your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty God. For in, in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebrations, we acclaim. for these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took the bread broke it giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar manner, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. We pray for our holy church, especially the areas where it is struggling, the areas where it needs sight, where it, the areas where it needs to give sight to the others, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. We pray for our Holy Father, his health, his intentions for the, for the month, his daily works. Noswald, our bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, the faithful, and all who have died in your mercy. We pray for our dear departed members in the family who are no more with us. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially all of us who are gathered here around this table at this moment with our intentions, with our anxieties, with our blindness. With Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph and all the apostles and saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, <clears throat> in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, the mighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. In the words, Jesus taught us, let us say together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, especially blindfolding ourselves in the areas where we do not want to look and grant us peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other each other sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus who offers us sight in the areas where we need most. How happy we are to be called for his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed.
We thank the Lord for the gift of sight, the physical sight and the vision. thank the Lord for in so many ways, in so many times of our lives, he keeps on broadening our horizons. We thank the Lord for the people who have improved our vision, our vision, our sight, our goals.
We thank the Lord for so many things we are able to achieve in our life because we have sight. We ask the Lord to bless our week ahead and all the actions, all the operations we are about to undertake in the coming week. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Kindly be seated, Sunday notices. Notices for this week, Sunday, 27th October, 2024. Masses on All Souls Day are as follows. 6 a.m., 6.45 a.m., 7.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. The evening masses are as follows. 5 p.m. Konkani Mass and at 6 p.m., there will be an English Mass. The blessing of graves will be at 5.45 p.m. The 7 p.m. Mass will be the regular Sunday Liturgy Mass. We thank all groups and associations who put up stalls and we thank each of you who patronize these stalls. The total collection for the Shirpur mission from the sale at the stalls was rupees 2 lakhs 1,935. Please drop your filled Mission Sunday envelopes for Shirpur mission in the Community Welfare Fund boxes. If you have items at home, that you do not need, kindly donate them to the parish. Unused new items will be used as gifts for the fiesta and the used but good condition stuff will be sold at the White Elephant Stall on 10th November. Please note that now we will be publishing the bands of marriage right at the start of the Mass and not after the church notices. This will give us an opportunity to pray at Mass for the couples planning to get married. To encourage our children to excel in academics, the parish has introduced Holy Family Awards for Excellence in Academics. Application forms are available at the parish office. Last date for submission of completed forms is 12th November. Please look up the notice board for more details. The October family cover is out. Please take a copy for your family and stay updated with all the parish happenings. To meet and greet each other, fellowship tea will be served tomorrow Sunday after all the morning and evening masses. Kindly patronize the stalls where fresh organic food stuff, grains, vegetables and fruits are being sold. We thank you for our last weekend collection of rupees one lakh thirty five thousand four hundred and twenty. Mass intentions first November seven thirty AM first death anniversary of Sushila Clifford Pinto.
My dear friends, it was so nice playing for you, with you during this one hour. I sincerely wish that you return home safely. We pray for your intentions. Have a good weekend ahead. We were accompanied by a beautiful choir. Sorry, not beautiful, most beautiful choir. And we had a lovely time enjoying this our liturgy. Kindly stand for final blessing. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you forever. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless. Mm -hmm.